and Forrest is panicking. Okay, Forrest, don't go anywhere. You're supposed to stay here. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Amanda Play Sims Legacy Challenge, or the APS Legacy Challenge. So we're rejoining Forrest here as he's just upgrading his bed, and he has been a young adult living in his house for one sim week. So the next thing that he was supposed to do was adopt a daughter. So we have little Claire Landry here, and we actually called her Claire Ann Daly. So he adopted Claire Ann, and Claire Landry adult, Claire Landry, has also moved in. He knows her from work, and she's also in his club, and remember, oh, she hates children. And... So yeah, uh, she asked to move in so that she could get away from the house with the mother plant and they saved the baby. So this was baby Claire Ann or baby Claire Landry. And unfortunately, the game kind of messed up and it moved them out and aged her up to an infant. So she's actually an infant. She was a baby. And she was supposed to remain a baby. So Forrest has taken a liking to little baby Claire. And he is going to take care of her. And uh, the adult Claire kind of came along for the ride. And so that's the story I'm going with for now. Now there is the Festival of Youth today. And there was also something at Thrifty that we might want to go to. But... I don't think that there's a lot that Forrest needs to do today. Oh, and of course, Claire broke my toilet. So now I'm going to have to fix it before we go anywhere. And there's the util bot contest and my sink broke. Okay, come on. I want to actually go somewhere. Okay, the thrifty shop was the first notification that I got. So there's some kind of thing going on here, usually every day, like a poetry reading or something of that nature. We don't really have enough money to buy anything. So we're just going to maybe play with Claire for a little bit. And it's 1 p.m. on Sunday. So we'll stay here until 2 and we'll see if there's anything going on other than them selling fashion and bubble tea. Oh, what are you doing? You're browsing? Okay, you can look, but you can't buy anything. Oh, it looks like Paris Sparks is the thrift store owner. It doesn't look like she does anything special with interactions, though. And now let's check out the Util Bot contest. It's 3 p.m., so we're staying here until about 4. Okay, we're just feeding Claire Ann here, and then we will be going to another venue. The next one is the Festival of Youth, and hopefully we get there before it ends. So I'm pretty sure that we've been to a festival here before. Was it the Festival of Youth? Do they have the same festival every week? We got a picture with Yamachan. I know that there was a festival here before. Okay, let's see what happens when we do the mountain move. Okay, we just dance with them, basically. We already got him in a selfie, so I don't need that. I'm pretty sure we got all of the festival attire. Maybe, maybe not, but we don't have any money anyway. Well, while we're here, we'll just get some collectibles. And we'll wait until about 6 p.m. when the Starlight Accolades begin. Claire, you have a drink. How did you afford that? Well, at least you didn't spend my simoleons. Okay, it's the Starlight Accolades. Now, technically, we can't get in because we are not a star. So, let's see if we can kind of sneak in or maybe bribe the bouncer if there is one. I don't see a bouncer. There's the bouncer. No, that's a fan. Oh. Okay, we can't sneak in when a celebrity is opening the door. Well, you should be able to do that. Okay, there's no bouncer. How am I supposed to get in if there's no one to talk to about getting in? Okay, maybe if we knew a celebrity, we could get them in our group. Let's try to introduce ourselves 
do Brittany Cho. Nope, not this time. Okay, well, it's been an hour. We can go home anyway. All right, there's no more events for today, and Forrest doesn't have any homework. So I'm not really sure what he's going to do for the rest of today. Let's try and play hooky because we only have one more vacation day and we can't really go to work any day next week. Oh, he didn't look too... Yeah, we don't sound sick. Let's take a vacation day. This is our last one though. Oh, Claire likes pranks. It is prank day. We should probably try to prank Claire and be mischievous to Claire, although we can also become partners in crime. Plan to lure a llama into the workplace because they actually work together. Oh, Forrest doesn't like pranks. I forgot about that. We do need to increase our mischief skill though because we kind of need to play hooky more often and have it work. Ugh, infants. From being near an infant, where did these little imps even come from? The world just became a whole lot crueler for Sims who hate children. Yeah, because they introduced infants as a new life stage. And Claire doesn't like infants and she doesn't like children. So she got away from her household, which had three children, or actually four. A baby, an infant, a toddler, and a child. And then also a teen, a young adult, she was the adult, and an elder. So there was one for every life stage at that house, and all of them were clones of Claire Landry. Well, there's a study session tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the library. And then there's another bot savant event, but it's just a bar night. So I think that's all of the events for Monday. And then Forrest has two classes, and that should actually be the end of the term for him. So we'll get our first term completed and start on our second term on Tuesday. Oh, Claire is eating for two. Yeah, we did have woohoo with Claire, but um, she's possessed right now. So she's just finding out that she's pregnant while she's possessed. All right, there actually is a Meet a Celebrity event from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Orchid Agogo. But that was not on the calendar when I looked yesterday. So sometimes they may add events when I'm not looking. Oh, we can negotiate a bonus again. Good, because we only have 17 simoleons. And our bills are probably going to be due soon. No, we didn't get it. Now, Forrest had to use one of his vacation days, but Claire actually was able to call in sick, so she was able to save her vacation. So I'm going to pretty much just take the money that Claire earns while she's here. She's only going to be here three some days, and she only makes 17 an hour. She's in the business career, and she's level one. So I'm not going to worry about the little bit of money she makes here and there with her career. We're just going to keep it. And then when she has the baby, she's going to leave. So she's not going to be here that long. Oh, Ava's been thinking of trying for another baby. She has children. She has four of them. Sure, Ava, have another one. All right, time for class. Well, here we are at the library. This is the Brainiacs study group, and it looks like Ziggy Yarn is a member of the Brainiacs. Okay, Forrest is autonomously writing and publishing a research paper on fitness. I wonder if that gets any money, though. It is research and debate, but we're not supposed to get money. Yeah. Oh, no, that was from his day off. Okay, so Forrest got 176 simoleons. Claire got 136 simoleons. And we have a total of 329, which is still not enough to pay the bills. Final grades. We have an A plus all across the board. So we're going to sign up for another term. Oh, we got 472 simoleons for that. Yeah, that was not really what we're allowed to have, so we'll have to take that away. But it did give us a little bit of fame, which we can't even see. All right, there's supposed to be a bar night here for the bot savants. 
we're just going to come and do our homework. It doesn't start until 8 p.m., but we need to finish our homework for the next day. And we're kind of screwed when it comes to work because we can't play hooky. We can't call in sick. Uh, we can't do anything. We're just going to have to stay home. Okay, to be honest, it's a little bit distracting here because he keeps trying to listen to music. I think we're just going to go home and finish our homework. Okay, Claire is going to be neat. All right, sure, that's fine for her. Forrest has been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well and Forrest doesn't have a care in the world. Okay, he's going to be cheerful. That doesn't sound too bad. It's better than mean. Although I'm sure a person who is cheerful can't really be mean. Apparently in The Sims they can. Well, we're done with our homework, but now we're working on the project. And Claire is now walking around like a zombie i know technically this isn't zombie this is more like possession but i like to call it zombies that's just the way i think about it oh we can call in fake sick to work let's try that otherwise we will get no money tomorrow or should i say today yes it worked all right forrest that means you have one more day in order to not lose job performance. Okay, I don't want my power and water turned off. Maybe we can ask our friends to lend us some money. Ava is Claire's aunt, so maybe she will give us some money. I'm going to allow this because I'm actually going to pay it back. Okay, it didn't work the first time for some reason. Ava never answered, so this time, yes, she gave us 2,000 simoleons. Let me just go ahead and pay my bills with that. Oh, today is the March festival. I didn't need to take a sick day. Great. Because I didn't have to go into work anyway. Oh, I should have saved my sick day for Wednesday. Okay, Claire likes gardening. Sure, that's fine for you too. Oh, Geek Con is in town. I think all of these festivals and things just don't show up until they're actually here. That's not fair. Yeah, this was not on the schedule when I looked on Sunday. Okay, this is ridiculous. I want to be able to plan my day, but if it doesn't show what the festival is until the day happens, that's so annoying. Look, there's nothing for tomorrow. If something pops up for tomorrow, I'm going to be a little bit peeved. Oh, crap. It's 10 p.m. and we're supposed to go to class? You don't have time to drink that, Forrest. I forgot because today is a holiday. It doesn't make him automatically go to class and I have to do it manually. Ooh, hopefully that doesn't affect our performance too much. And then we got to go to GeekCon. All right, that wasn't too bad, according to the report. Now, our next class is at 3 p.m., so we can go to GeekCon for a little while. And, of course, right as we're about to leave, the Flower Bunny shows up. And while I would love to participate in one of the contests, I don't think we have time. I'm just here for the t-shirt. Oh, and you can actually get these snow globes only at the festivals, and you get a special one. So we'll get a snow globe and a bubble bottle. I don't think we're going to collect the fireworks. Those are kind of expensive. We'll do the ultimate gaming test, but I don't think that Forrest will win. And I don't think he has time to finish it. Forrest is actually feeling guilty that he didn't let Jade move in. Well, sorry, Jade is not the one. Okay, the minimum total score to pass is 70, and we got a 30. Wow, that sucks, Forrest. All right, so this time we were able to play hooky, and so we don't have to go into work tomorrow either. Oh, and we can now take family leave. So I think for 24 hours you can take the family leave. So maybe we'll take that for Thursday. Okay, we can repay the loan now because I don't think we'll need it. it. We'll have 241 simoleons left. But after Claire gives birth, then two days later, 
Forrest can meet his other who is going to make him some money, hopefully. So it was just a short-term loan for a couple of days so that my power didn't get turned off. Okay, Claire has gone into labor, but Claire is possessed. Okay, Claire is no longer possessed, and we're going to have the baby at the hospital so we can hopefully get a birth certificate. And Forrest is panicking. Okay, Forrest, don't go anywhere. You're supposed to stay here. Oh, and it's the boy. So for the boy's name I had picked out, we're going to use a mall. Oh, and we have twins. So a girl's name, Amelia. And good, only twins. Okay. Oh, good. We got a green bassinet. I was hoping that we get a green one. Okay, the thing is that Claire hates children, and there are now three children in this household, and she doesn't really want to take care of them, so she explains to Forrest that he will have to do all of the parenting, and she's just going to leave. I'm sorry, Forrest. It wasn't meant to be. So Forrest is saying, well, maybe cool off for a couple of days and let's see how you feel later on. Maybe you will actually want the kids. And Claire says, no, I'm breaking up with you. I'm sorry. Bye bye. I'm not going to want the kids. But I think Forrest is going to try to talk to her in a couple of days anyway and just see how she feels. Well, let's see if we can convince our boss to to give us a bonus and then we're going to immediately take family leave oh we actually got a bonus good we need that 88 simoleons okay oh come on everything keeps breaking poor Forrest he's all by himself with three kids he has a full-time job and he has to go to university well time to go to class hopefully daycare takes care of them no daycare did not take care of them all right, well, we'll have to fix it. Oh, I earned a vacation day, even though I haven't been going to work. Hey, Forrest, it's Ava. Do you want to hang out tonight? Yeah, I'd like to, but I need to get my term paper edited. Okay, it's Claire Ann's birthday, and so Claire Ann is going to be a toddler today. Okay, it's also the twins' birthday, Amelia and Amal. So we get one infant to go up to a toddler and the other two newborns actually become infants. This will be real fun. Additionally, it's love day. So maybe we should check in on Claire again. Yeah, Forrest likes giving flowers so he's going to give a random kid a flower. Oh, Forrest has enjoyed spending time with family recently. It's become very important for him to bond with his family. So he's going to be family oriented. But Forrest has reached the max number of times he can embrace a self-discovery trait moment. All right. So that means he got mean, cheerful, and family oriented. In addition to his materialistic, perfectionist, overachiever. Oh no. I thought my class was at 3 p.m. but no it was from 1 30 to 2 55. okay that's the one downside of this is that he's not going to class automatically i have to constantly watch when his class is we skipped a class that's not good well we're going to say happy birthday to claire and you don't need a cake to age up infants as long as it's their birthday and you have MC Command Center. One of those two things is making it able to age her up without a cake. Okay, and to replace sensitive, we are going to be fussy. Oh, that's fun. And Claire Ann was a top-notch infant. Okay, happy birthday, Amal. And Amal is going to be wiggly. And happy birthday, Amelia. Amelia is sensitive. All right, now it's time to get rid of these baby bassinets. And we have one infant crib. 
But where is the bathtub, you say? Um, actually, you can clean up toddlers and infants in the sink. So we don't need a bathtub. Now, maybe we should get a play mat instead of another crib because they can sleep on the play mat. The play mat is actually cheaper. So yes, we'll go with the play mat. I have no idea why a mall is so hungry. But anyway, we're going to feed him. And this is the setup that I came up with for right now. We have a toddler potty in the bathroom. We have the little sleeping bag out here because that was the cheapest way to get a toddler bed. And then we have the adult bed up there. And I turned the desk so it's kind of sticking out, but hey, that's the way it goes. Oh, look, it's Ava. Okay, so far, Claire Ann is a light sleeper and destructive. Great. Why are you crying? Oh, you cry. Me cry too. We cry. Go to sleep. Why are you crying? No particular reason. Your needs are fine. Oh, it's a spice festival today. I did not even notice that. So Claire is asking us out to the spice festival. Sure, I guess. Okay, so we broke up with Claire, but it's love day and it's the spice festival. So let's see if we can flirt with her. And oh, okay, so that is really easy to repair. You would think after breaking up that it would not be so easy to get the romance back. But between these two, for some reason it is. Okay, we're going to go buy the festival t-shirt and we're going to go grab something to eat. Let's see if we can finish the spicy curry challenge. No, it looks like he failed. Okay, it's also the Brainiac's bar night. So we'll go to that one next. And we'll just sit here and do our homework. Okay, we need to do a little bit of studying for optimizing business analytics. Because unfortunately, that was the one that we missed. And it's neighborhood brawl. What a wonderful day when you have kids. This is the first time that we've had to do laundry because for some reason Forrest just doesn't generate very many laundry items. He doesn't change very often, but for some reason the kids do. Okay, the Festival of Snow has started, so we got to go to that. I think we'll just leave the kids home though. Okay, it's 300 simoleons for the Festival of Snow outfit, but we got to buy it. And there we go. We have our Festival of Snow outfit. Well, I kind of expected to run into Claire again, but we haven't seen her lately. Maybe we'll stop by Claire's house and see how she's doing. All right, Forrest. I know you're excited to play as a sea monster, but let's get going. So let's knock on the door and see if anybody's home. Well, the Claire we know is not here, so this is young adult Claire. So I guess Claire decided not to come back to her old house, and we find this version of Claire. And she's actually not interested in getting married anytime soon, or ever, actually. So maybe she'll move in with us and help us raise the kids. So Forrest says, hey, I hear the Finchwick Llama Fair is in town. Would you like to go? And Claire says, sure, let's go. So Claire and Forrest are deciding to become best friends at the Finchwick Llama Fair. And Claire is going to move in with us. Okay, one thing that is strange about Claire is that she has the Crystal Crafter aspiration. And she wants to be a gemologist. But right now, she doesn't know how to do gemology. So what she's doing is she's trying to curry the favor of a gemologist. And she's going to hunt crystals and sell them to him. But she is not going to do gemology yet. Because he has to apprentice her for her to learn how to do it. 
So that's going to be the story as to why she doesn't use the crystals that she collects and she just sells them instead. So this is the end of the week and we have our new best friend who is the gemology assistant or the gem hunter. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>